Newton gave us the universal law of gravitation, explaining the inverse square law of gravity, but he never explained why energy should act on gravity in this way. Then Einstein gave us the general theory of relativity, explaining a dynamic, interactive process. In the theory of general relativity, when an object moves, the curvature of space-time moves relative to the energy and momentum of the object. But even the general theory of relativity, there is no explanation of why energy and momentum should act on space and time in this way. In a new theory, called quantum atom theory, an artist theory on the physics of time as a physical process, we have one interactive, universal process continuously unfolding at the quantum level of the atoms. We see and feel this process as time, as a physical process of continuous energy exchange that is formed light photon oscillation by light photon oscillation. Objects form their own time by slowing up the rate that time flows relative to their energy and momentum. Gravity is not a real force at all. Objects just free fall towards the greatest energy because it has the greatest time dilation or the slowest rate the time flows. In this theory, mass is a byproduct of time dilation. When time slows down, it takes more effort to move an object from A to B, and this is seen as an increase in mass. Also, Einstein's equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration falls out of this theory. Because energy and momentum have to increase for an object to accelerate, time dilation will increase relative to the acceleration. Therefore, we have the equivalence principle between gravity and acceleration. This will be felt as inertia in the direction of the acceleration. Therefore, we have Isaac Newton's first law of motion. Unless acted upon by a net unbalanced force, an object will maintain a constant velocity. This theory takes the dynamic interactive process of the general theory of relativity and extends it to our everyday life, explaining a universe that is continuously coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. Every individual is a part of this interactive process that forms the uncertainty and probability that is needed for the great game of life. But above all, this theory gives us an objective understanding of time as a process of continuous creation. Even a rose blooming will create its own arrow of time within its own reference frame. This fits in with the reality of our everyday life, with a past and potential future that we can interact with from the centre of our own reference frame, turning the possible into the actual. This can be in the form of art and poetry. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating light waves continuously. Therefore, even a dancer on the dance floor will interact with this process, forming their own future space-time relative to their energy and momentum of their own actions. In this theory, creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. It will help in the promotion of this theory.